Our lesson this week will come from the book of Acts, uh, chapter 27 and verse 14 and Quendelea. This is the story of Paul that one time, when one time he was taken uh, as a prisoner and was being transported to another, uh, to another country, I think to Rome, to Rome and uh, they, they were put in the ship with uh, other sailors. And when they were sailing, they had sailed for many days, there arose an eastern wind that was, uh, that was blowing so severely that it almost broke uh, their ship. And uh, as they were in the high seas with a strong wind and uh, blowing and they, uh, there was no sun, they could not see the sun or the, during the day or the, the stars during the night. And they all became very worried and afraid and they never had hope that they are going to survive the storm. Uh, so I can imagine the, 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 uh, the, in the darkness, in the pitch of that darkness, the, the winds are very strong and they are in the high seas. Though they had lost all hope and they tried to maneuver the ship and they found that they could not. Um, until it reached a point they started throwing off the, the, the ruggages and the goods they had so that they could at least their, save their own lives. On the 13th day, they were in the sea on the, uh, for 14 days. On the 13th night, uh, the Spirit of God spoke to Paul and he told him and assured him, assure the sailors that none of them is going to perish in this storm, but the ship is going to, uh, is going to get wrecked but them, not even a hair of their head that is going uh, to get lost. And Paul, on that night of the 13th, when the morning came, he spoke to, to all the sailors and all on board, and he told them, I wish you listened to me, because before they took the, uh, uh, the, the journey, Paul had told, warned them of the weed, but they never listened. So that's why I'm saying our topic today is learn to listen. So they never listened to Paul. Here they are. They got into the in, into the storm and now they have lost all the hope. They didn't know whether they would survive. But on this night, because of Paul in the ship, the Holy Spirit spoke to them. And he had intended that none of them was going to perish. And as they continued, on that day Paul told them, let us now eat so that we can have a strength that we may be able to reach uh, the show. And that day he broke bread, he gave thanks, and they all ate. And as God had told them, they reached a point, uh, now they could see where now um, they were near the show. And when they saw they were near the show, the sailors that were in the ship, they forgot what they were told by, the, by Paul, and they wanted to, to jump and they sail to the show. And, and uh, Paul warned them, again. If you allow these ones to, to, to jump and to sail, he told the, the, the soldiers, none of us is going to, to none, of, none of you is going to, to survive. So they restrained them. A time comes in life also we find like we can, we can save ourselves. And God, we forget that God has removed us from a lot of storm. He has walked with us to this time and we find that we can now be able to help ourselves and sweep a show. But we are told, listen, remember what God said from the beginning. We look like we have been in a storm for a short, for a long time. In the storm we have been, we've been in this COVID for a long time. It is like we are in a pitch, uh, in pitch darkness, uh, where we cannot see hope, we cannot see light, but God is assuring us, none of us is going to perish. If only we put our trust in him and we listen to him, uh, he is going to make sure that we get a show. Paul and all the sailors, they got to the show somehow and the ship as God had said it got erect and therefore the season we are in I was interpreting it this way God is telling us let us hold our peace wacha tu wacha kungangana na maisha and we find peace in God and then God somehow he will make sure we get to the show. How he'll do it, we may not know. But once we get to the show, our businesses which we have lost in this COVID, we have lost a lot of good, we've lost a lot of time, our school's calendar has been interfered with, and it's like we are just there. And until the time we will learn to find peace in God, he is going to make sure that this, this wind and this storm will stop, and he will see us on the show safely.
uh, until where it reached a point where Paul and the sailors and the soldiers, they had to drop the sail and just allowed the wind to drift the, sh mm, the ship ashore. And that is the time they, they neared the show. So at the point and the moment we are in, we ought to stop struggling with life. We just find peace in God and just allow the wind of the Holy Spirit to drift us ashore. And you are going to land safely and you are going to come out of this season, the coven safely. And God is going to bless us. He's going to lift us. He is going to make sure that we are safe and we have, re and we have recovered whatever we have lost. Uh, so, if we do this, number one, if we accept to do this, one, we allow God. Two, we find peace in God. We shall come out of this uh, safely and land safely. And number two, the wind of the Holy Spirit is going to drift us uh, to the show. If we stop kujingangania and think that we are going to sail and save ourselves, you do that. We are going to perish. If we stop to fight with the issues, fight peace in God and allow God to have his way, his way. If we do this, I tell you, uh, we are going to come out safe and God is going to be glorified. And the season we are in will be a, 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 a thing of the past. And as Paul did when he reached the other side, he preached the gospel to the cities he went. We are going to preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ because I believe after this we are getting to a revival time and we shall preach till Christ come. God bless you. Remember to have peace and allow the spirit of God to drift you and learn to listen even in the storm. And also remember to subscribe to this channel that you'll always be getting uh, an alert of the messages to encourage you and even to push you through all the seasons. God bless you.